How to model an elbow pipe in Ansel. Create a sketch in the Park Design Workbench. Select the YZ plane. Select the Circle tool. This will be the profile. Click the origin and drag the mouse. Enter a radius and press Enter. Right-click to exit the tool. Click here to exit the sketch. Create a new sketch, which will be the path. Select the XZ plane. Select the Arc tool. Click the vertical axis and then the origin. Drag the mouse and click left mouse button. Right-click to exit the tool. Select the Polyline tool. Switch to Construction Mode with this button. Then click these two vertices. Right-click twice to exit the tool. Select the Arc and then the Dimension button. Enter a radius. Drag it by holding left mouse button. Select the dimension tool. Select these two lines to add an angle. Right click to exit the tool. Exit the sketch. Select the profile sketch with the circle. Then click the Additive Pipe button. Click Object here and then the Path Sketch. The other Object button represents the profile. Click OK to apply. Select these two faces, hold Control. And click the Thickness button. Enter a wall thickness here. Click OK to apply. The wall thickness has been defined now. Expand the feature and enter the second sketch. Change the angle and exit the sketch. It's a 90 degrees elbow now. Change it to 135 degrees. And here it is. Let's make it extended now. Enter the second sketch with the path again. Disable construction mode and select the polyline tool. Click the origin and press M twice. Draw a line over the x-axis. Then draw a line from this vertex. Select the line and the arc. And add a tangent constraint. Now select both lines and make them equal. Select one line and click the dimension button. Enter a dimension. Select these two vertices, if necessary. And add a coincident constraint. Exit the fully defined sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. Let's resolve this thickness error. Double-click the feature. Delete the selected faces here. And select these two new faces. Click OK to apply. Enter the path sketch and change it to 90 degrees. 
Exit the sketch. And it's a 90 degrees elbow again. Change it to 45 degrees and exit the sketch. And here is an extended 45 degrees elbow. Enter the profile sketch. And change the radius. You can easily enter a sum as a dimension. Exit the sketch. And a bigger elbow is here. Let's make it smaller again. Exit the sketch. This elbow is easy to change. Double click the thickness feature. Then you can change the wall thickness. So this is how you can model different elbows. Get commercial access to all my 3D files here to sell 3D prints. Also check out my other channel for all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.